नमस्कार लेट्स लर्न अबाउट द रेमेडी नैचरम कार्ब फ्रॉम डॉक्टर एन एम चौधरीज मटीरिया मेडिकम नैचरम कार्ब इज एक्चुअली मेड फ्रॉम सोडियम कार्बोनेट एंड इट इज एक्चुअली द कॉमन सोडा प्योरीफाइड एंड इट इज वन ऑफ एनिमल्स ग्रेट एंटीसोरिक रेमेडीज एंड इट इज ऑल्सो अ पॉलीक्रेस्ट ऑफ वेरी ग्रेट इंपॉर्टेंस अकॉर्डिंग टू डॉक्टर एन एम चौधरी सो ही मैंशन द ओल्ड स्कूल यूज एंड इट वॉज यूज फॉर बर्नस एंड एक्जीवा मैंशनिंग दिस tells us about its action on skin and also it was used as a spray or douche in nasal and vaginal catarrh and this giving us an idea about its action on mucous membranes right so even in the nose we have mucous membranes or even in vagina we have this kind of membranes right so these both things tell us about its sphere of action little bit right Uh, moving on, Dr. N. M. Chaudhary talks about the characteristics of this remedy. So, Dr. N. M. Chaudhary always mentions about the characteristics of whatever, whichever remedy he is talking about, and he mentions them in a very ordered or point-wise manner, so that we can understand the gist or the very important points of the remedy uh, at one place only. So, right now we are going to discuss all those characteristics that he mentions, and let's try to remember them as we go on learning about them. The first one is universal. irritation so we have to remember the first uh, characteristic that natrum uh, that dr n m jodhi talks about for natrum carb is universal irritation so this remedy kind of tends to produce this kind of irritate irritation it has a marked irritating action over the skin and also the mucous membrane so just right now we discussed about uh, what did we learn from the old school uses of this remedy and uh, just in the next para dr nm chaudhary tells us that it also has this universal action on skin and mucous membranes so when we talk about mucous membranes we are going to talk about uh, git because the whole elementary tract has obviously the mucous membranes lined by it is lined by the mucous membranes and also the nose ears etc so uh, pretty on the skin you know producing this irritation it actually gives rise to a dry a tough and a dry dry rough and cracked kind of skin and there's there's this itching that they have plus formication which is constant so formication sensation is there and itching it can be you know used in eczema herpes warts ulceration so whatever condition that uh, is present in the patient along with their other characteristic symptoms of natrum carb also present we have we can think of this remedy in mucous membranes we see but you on you know when it acts on the elementary tract tract then from the mouth to the anus it is in a kind of you know it is in a state of irritation which borders on inflammation and hence you will see this redness present in the mucous membranes rawness and sores especially you see that in fauces because it is visible so in the fauces you will see it is completely reddened then the patient will feel that it is raw and sore there's constant desire to hawk uh, and there's flat ulcers painful blisters that it forms so even on the skin it formed ulcers even on the git it is forming ulcer and as we go ahead you'll see where else it forms ulcers so you have to remember this one point that ulcer formation takes place in natrum cup now on the nose and ears it produces humid herpetic eruptions around the face it produces humid herpetic herpetic eruptions so humid meaning there is some kind of discharge ulceration again coryza and copious thick yellowish greenish musty smelling discharge so the color of discharge in natrum carb is yellowish greenish is what we have to remember so every remedy kind of has a different kind of color which it commonly produces so in that um, that is why we have to actually remember the color so in natrum carb it produces yellowish greenish kind of musty smelling discharge and corneal ulceration is also seen so corneal ulceration meaning ulcers in the eye ulcers in the cornea So that is also seen along with great photophobia so these are few symptoms that the, that it produces due to this universal irritation that is there and the second important characteristic that it mentions is the aggravation of many of its symptoms from mental exertion so any kind of mental exertion that this patient does is going to give him an aggravation is going to aggravate his complaint so what will it lead to So there's this inaptitude for meditation or mental labor, and it gives rise to severe headache, okay, giddiness. Head feels stupefied if he tries to exert himself in the least, and memory is also weak. So you see, any kind of mental exertion that he tries to do will give rise to complaints. And then, uh, just because now Dr. N. M. Chaudhary is men talking about something related to the mental aspect or mental sphere, he is he also mentions a few points related to the mind of this remedy. So he tells us that there is this difficulty of comprehension in this remedy, and that is why he is you know unable to combine ideas while he is listening or while he is reading. 
because there's difficulty of comprehension and this state actually gives rise to an aversion to mankind and society so there is this difficulty of comprehension and you know this inability to combine ideas and all of this you know you show us clearly the gradual dwindling of the mental faculties of natrium carb and finally this whole situation leads to you know gradually leads to uh, this sort of uh, aversion that they ha have to mankind and society which is a very important uh, symptom of natrium carb if you remember the mind of natrium carb this is one of the points that you need to remember about it and at times the aversion becomes so strong that even the proximity of his near and dear ones becomes intolerable like you know we we know about sepia sepia is you know very famous for indifference or you know aversion to you know she just lies with closed eyes so she doesn't want to uh you know uh, she, she is completely indifferent to her own family so in the same way natrium carb can also at times become so averse to people or society that he now does not even want his near or dear ones uh in his proximity that's the first uh, very important point related to mind. The second important point related to mind that we need to remember is that there is sadness and depression of spirit. There is this, they are sad, they are depressed, they feel so depressed and there is this hypochondriacal mood that they have. They have intolerable melancholy and apprehension. And what you should remember is that all of this is specially marked after a meal, particularly after a dinner. So after a meal is what, uh, you know, they feel all of these, you know, these mental uh, symptoms like they feel sad, they feel depressed. So after a meal, it all gets aggravated. And the second and the, uh, another important point is the anxiety, the restlessness, the apprehension, apprehension all are rendered worse by music. So when they listen to music, they feel sad. This is also a very, very important point about natrium calm. So, oh, uh, you know, remembering about the second important characteristic from Dr. N.M. Chaudhary's material, we have to uh, keep in mind this aggravation from mental exertion. Obviously, we have to keep this in mind, which gives rise to headache, giddiness, you know, feeling of being stupefied. And in mind, we have to remember first that there is aversion to mankind of society because of this whole state. And second, that um, there is first, there is after meal aggravation of mental symptoms and also uh, music aggravates the mental symptoms. So these are few points that we need to remember about natrium carb. So the first important characteristic we had to remember was, we talked about was the universal irritation of this remedy and how it gets produced or this universal irritation is seen on the skin and on the mucous membranes, that is the GIT and as well as on the nose, ears, etc. And the second point we talked about was this mental exertion aggravation. Okay, so whatever kind of aggravation they do, so, what kind of mental exertion they do will aggravate their complaints or will give rise to some complaints like headache, giddiness, etc. Moving on to the next point, we see that there is great susceptibility to the head or to the of the head to the rays of the sun. So, uh, sun rays give some kind of complaint, so headache most probably. So, there's acute and chronic effects of sunstroke and the remedies to be compared over here are obviously glonoin and lachesis because they also have these kind of sunstrokes or uh, headaches due to sun. So, that's one of the points, okay, sun is aggravating them okay especially their head and the fourth important point is debility after every exertion so just now we talked about the second important point which was about the mental exertion aggravating them now they are also saying that every kind of exertion is going to give them debility and what happens in this debility is also very important because it is a little different so his movements become the movement becomes slow unsteady and tired so this debility this weakness leads to his move affecting you know it affects his movement it because his movement becomes slow unsteady tired and any little obstruction will cause him to fall there is this pronounced weakness in his ankle joints so his ankle joints are especially affected his ankle joints are especially affected there will be there will be pronounced weakness in his ankle joints and easy dislocation will be one of the you know consequences that spraining of the ankle and ankles are so weak that they give way and they bend every now and again as he attempts to walk can you imagine that? So this exertion giving them debility and debility, many you know, debility appearing like uh, appearing through this weakness in ankle joints. There's this the rem other remedies that have this kind of situation are causticum, natrium, sulfur, and sulfuric acid. Now ulceration on or about hills is also very important. So on or about the heels, uh, there is ulceration in this remedy. But in Lyco, the ulcers are on instep. So instep meaning this part of the feet or foot 
okay so this part so whenever ulcers are there on this part you have to think of the whenever ulcers on this part we have to think of the remedy lyco and whenever they are on the hills you have to think of the remedy natrum cob as we have been discussing today and right now okay so these were the third and the fourth important characteristics one was this uh, rays of sun aggravates and second was debility after exertion and this debility which especially affects the ankle joints produces weakness in the ankle joints moving on to the fifth important characteristic here he talks about its action on the female sexual organs uh, so dr anil chaudhary c tells us that most important feature over here is that there is strong bearing down feeling as if everything would come out is strong bearing down feeling and this is partly due to the passive congestion of the uterus there is this passive congestion uh, noticed particularly during and after coitus due to an extra influx of blood caused by sexual erethism and the comparative remedy is sepia now this back ache or this bearing down kind of sensation is aggravated by sitting and is ameliorated by moving about so sitting will aggravate this bearing down and moving about is ameliorating which is quite different profuse yellow and thick leucorrhea is there with putrid odor odor and he also tells us that this is also an important remedy for sterility due to ejection of semen after coition uh in the main sexual health and homeopathy related situation and you see there's amelioration by rubbing as a sixth characteristic point so he says that i have used this remedy with great success in weak and deficient labor pains so he's talking about labor pains over here having been guided to it by great desire on the part of the patient to be rubbed while in pain it expels the moles or the products of false conceptions dr nm chaudhary tells us about this so there is amelioration by rubbing especially during labor in the labor pains then uh, finally we come to the last characteristic point which is the seventh characteristic point here he tells us that natrum carb is particularly susceptible to electrical changes in the atmosphere like phosphorus like rhododendron so any kind of electrical change in the atmosphere is going to give them some symptoms so what happens there can be nervousness sadness headache giddiness and all of these situation all of these symptoms are actually aggravated during thunderstorm because there are electrical changes in the atmosphere during thunderstorm now you also mentioned some points some random important points about natrum carb and it tells us that there is strong aversion to milk it is a very important point related to natrum carb natrum carb has this uh, has this great aversion and everybody all the authors talk about it causes it causes diarrhea and indigestion especially after a vegetable diet and a start and starchy food also they can have this diarrhea and indigestion and milk usually causes it so they will be patient so if you ask them while case taking what is something that you do not have at all do not like to have at all while you asking about the cravings and the aversions they will always talk about uh, tell you about milk which is a strong aversion for them there is great desire for cold water for cold water and this cold water uh, after drinking they will it will produce a distinct aggravation so they cannot you know even if they want to have to have it even if have they even if they have this desire to have it it's not good for their body because it it is producing the aggravation there is this ravenous hunger that they feel and is an, uh, from a sensation of emptiness in stomach from 10 to 11 am so we know uh, there is this great, sulfur as a great remedy for hunger at 11 am just at that time around that time from 10 to 11 am even natrum carb has ravenous hunger and the blisters so the blisters on the toes on the on the cold feet inflammation of external nose with redness so all of these can also be seen So right now we have talked about natrum carb uh, from Dr. N M Chaudhary's Materia Medica, and we've completed it. Let's just revise all the characteristic points so that we are able to remember them. So while talking about this remedy natrum carb from Dr. N M Chaudhary's Materia Medica, we saw that the characteristic that it produces first one is universal irritation, right? and in universal irritation we saw that it produces this on the skin and also on the mucous membranes on the mucous membranes meaning on the alimentary tract and also on the nose on the ears everywhere right so on the skin it produces this dry rough kind of skin and very important was along with itching there is formigation which is constant this we have to remember about the skin then on the git or on the alimentary tract it produces three important things that is redness that is rawness and there is soreness all these things it produces it produces 
on and on the nose and ears it produces um ulcers herpetic eruptions corneal ulcers also there and, and along with the corneal ulcers there is photophobia and coryza that it produces is of yellow green color right yellowish yellowish greenish color right and then we talked about the second important characteristic of this remedy uh, after universal irritation which was the aggravation from mental exertion right from mental exertion and it gives rise to what so it gives rise to this aggravation from mental exertion finally gives rise to headache or you know gives rise to giddiness and the head feels stupefied the memory is weak and just because we were talking about the mental aspect dr nm choudhury also talked or also explained about few important minor related symptoms which were first that there is this aversion aversion to mankind and society that this remedy has and how does this get produced so first there is this kind of a difficulty of comprehension and inability to combine ideas while in there listening reading whatever and that whole state finally dwindles on to this you know it gives you right it gives you this mental faculties are dwindling uh, uh, a kind of appearance and then finally it leads to this aversion to mankind and society and at times the aversion becomes so strong that even they don't want to you know have their near and dear ones close to them then another point was that uh, there is this whole mental aspect of this remedy gets aggravated after having a meal after having a meal and it also gets aggravated or is worse by music so when they listen to music all their sad kind of emotions are aggravated get okay, a sad and uh, the third important characteristic was about the susceptibility to the head uh, of the sun rays so sunstroke okay and comparative remedies were glonoin and lachesis the fourth point was debility after exertion so any kind of exertion so mental exertion we have already talked about and physical also so this debility actually manifests or is seen through this pronounced weakness in the ankle joints and weakness in the ankle joints you can see because there is easy dislocation and spraining of the ankle and you know, just while walking the ankle is so weak that they give way every time they try to walk and there was also this ulceration in the heels and in lyco it was in the instep and dr nm shoji also tells us one thing that often you know it comes to our notice that people who are apparently healthy and they are well in almost every aspect suffer from such defect of ankle joints and they fall repeatedly and often without any apparent cause and such defects may be easily rectified by the administration of a constitutional remedy such as our natrum cup that is what dr nm shoji also tells us about okay so this was the fourth important point then we talked about the fifth point which was uh, its action on the female sexual system or organs and there was a strong bearing down sensation that this remedy produces in the female genitals and it is aggravated by sitting and ameliorated by moving about okay and the sixth point was about the amelioration by rubbing especially in the labor pains as dr n m choudhury mentions especially in the labor pains and the seventh and the last point was about the electrical changes in the atmosphere it so this is aggravation or they are susceptible to the electrical changes in atmosphere just like we know it is present also in phosphorus and rhododendron the symptoms get aggravated because of the electrical changes in the atmosphere or the thunderstorms so let's see what were the seven important characteristics first was universal irritation it is also uh, present in the skin mucous membrane so it is universal it is present all over the body in the natrum cup itching and formication it produces in the skin and all those symptoms in the git and in the nose uh, second was aggravation from mental exertion and third was hair, uh, aggravation from sun rays especially to the head and fourth was debility aggravated by exertion debility seen in ankle joints fifth was bearing down sensation in the females aggravated by at, by sitting and by moving about sixth was amelioration by rubbing for the labor pains and seventh was aggravation from electrical changes in the atmosphere and then if you mentions few random points and what were the, those random points the first one was that there's this milk aversion and uh, it actually gives them indigestion diarrhea second was that they want or they have this desire uh, craving for cold water but having cold water aggravates them 
and then there was this hunger ravenous hunger actually and this uh, this uh, from sensation of emptiness in stomach especially from 10 to 11 am and finally there are this blisters everywhere blisters on the toes cold feet etc etc okay so those are some few random important points that he mentions so this is all about natrium carb and uh, i hope you remember uh, the, this remedy uh, from Dr. N.M. Chaudhary's Materia Medica, the way he has explained through these characteristic points and through these uh, diagrams or drawings also.